<clears throat> Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 275. And what you're looking at is my old, me old, two months old, Bofang UV5R radio, which I've done several reviews on. And my new, got this week, Bofang UV-B5. Basically, functionally, they're the same, but there's a lot of differences. And I'll be doing a series of shows on the new radio compared to the old, and then some shows specifically about the new radio. Now, one thing about these radios, number one, the price. We're talking about... Um, 45 to 35 dollars depending on which one you get and when you get them and number two is they're just loaded with functions just a ton of functions probably 95 percent you'll never use but there are some things there that you know you may use sometime or may need sometime so we're going to go over quickly the the external kind of differences and maybe some internal ones too for that matter so the obvious thing is the shape of the radios is different. This is the 5R is squared off, has a bigger display, turns out, and they're basically the same size. They're basically the same size. Maybe the B5 is a little bit bigger, a little taller, and a little skinnier maybe, more the shape of your hand. So from that standpoint, maybe it's a little better. Um, they both use uh, similar batteries as far as battery capacity. They are, as you can see, if I turn them around, they're totally different. So they're not interchangeable batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. So that, if you uh, thought you might be able to interchange the batteries, you cannot interchange the batteries. At least, as far as I can tell, I mean, I haven't really physically tried to stick one on the other, but just glancing at it, the batteries are different. Uh, but like I say, the capacity of the two batteries are the same. Now, the UV5R, in many advertisements, it says that it has uh, a maximum power of 5 watts. Well, that's wrong. It's only 4 watts. Now, the B5 does have that extra watt of power, which in some cases, if you can't quite hit a repeater with the 5R, you can hit it with the B5. So that's a big advantage, having that extra watt. It, and it really can make a difference. Now, whether the in actual use, the B5 um, can hit repeaters that are farther away, we'll have to find out when we actually do some testing. Let me back off here just a little bit. Here are the two manuals. Here's the one for the 5R. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, black and white. And it, it covers a lot of stuff, but yet a lot of the details are not in here. And so there's a couple of great websites that provide additional information that these manuals don't provide. Now, the B5 manual is in color, multiple colors, larger, slightly larger print. But I would say, in general, just glancing at this manual, there's less details in this manual. That's kind of just the general observation between these two manuals. So that's the manuals. Like I say, neither one it gives you neither one gives you everything you need so you're going to have to look elsewhere now getting back to the radios uh, the one thing that will catch your eye and what caught my eye to get this one and try this one is it has this extra knob on the top and that extra knob has a couple of functions number one if you're using the frequency mode uh, not the memory mode then you can use this knob to tune the frequencies. It's like a tuning knob. Unlike this guy, is you have to use the up and down arrows to tune. 
Now, where this can come in handy is if you're trying to work um, amateur satellites, and of course, as they go overhead, their frequencies change due to a Doppler effect, then it's very easy to use this button here to track the frequency of the satellites as opposed to hitting the up and down arrows. Now, it's you know, you can get used to using the up and down arrows. It's just that most of my other radios have this kind of control over the frequency. Also, if you're in memory mode, this will select the memories for you, what memory you want. So that's to me that to that to me that's a big advantage of having that knob. Now, what you do give up, which for me is not a big deal, is you do give up the flashlight. This does not have the flashlight like the 5R does. You give that up. Another obvious difference is the, and it probably doesn't show up too well in my camera view, but even though the radio on the B5 is a little taller, also the antenna is taller. And if you go back to my uh, testing of antennas, in general, all things being equal, the taller the antenna, the longer the antenna, the better that it got out as far as reaching repeaters and such. What I've read, and I haven't done any antenna testing yet, what I've read is this longer antenna does give you better range. Now, that could be because of the extra power this radio has. So, I don't know. That's something I'll have to test. Now, the antennas are interchangeable. So, that's good. That's good news. Which means, and I'll put these back real quick. Which means the other antennas that I have bought and reviewed will work on either of these radios. So that means the, uh, the MFJ, I think it was a 1717S, which was a very long antenna, but it gave me the best range I could use on this new radio. So that's cool. Um, a disappointment on the B5 is the display. Number one, the display is smaller. Number two, I like the fact that the display on the 5R um, is different. You can set up for different colors, different background colors. Where this one, I have not found any way to change the background color. It's, uh, let me just turn it on here a second. is basically uh, a blue background with black numbers of course and the, uh, the letters numbers I should say the numbers are kind of skinny so that's kind of a uh, a setback now the, to me this is much easier to read now it's in blue now but it'll change color and you can change that to whatever color you want. Matter of fact, there's three functions you can have different colors for. You can have um, a background for receive, a uh, background for when you're transmitting. There's there's a receive. You just got to receive. And I think there's one other, and I don't remember what it is. But anyway, um, I, I think in general, this taller antenna will do better than this one. Um, it, like I say, it might be confused by the fact that this puts out more power. But maybe, maybe I can just check, you know, reception capability, which doesn't have anything to do with transmit power. The other thing is, and I don't know if it'll show up. Welcome. Water is a moderate chop. Sunday night, south winds are Trying to get this to show up. Water is a light chop. Monday, south winds 10 to 15. Okay, it's not going to show up very well, but. Over on this side right here is a true S meter in the sense of an S meter. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's it's a bar bar graph, 
and it changes depending on the uh, strength of the signal you're receiving. On the 5R, you'll remember that the so-called S meter was just on or off. It looked like bars, but it was always f all bars. So that, to me, um, the S meter function uh, on the 5R was pretty useless. Okay, the other thing is, um, as I mentioned before, you can use this button for changing the frequency up and down and the memory channel up and down. The um, the band button, uh, this a, a B band button, so you can select uh, two meters or seventy centimeters, is gone from the new one, and supposedly it's automatic, meaning that when you dial in a frequency, it switches the two bands. So if you dial in something around 145 megahertz, it'll be on the two meter band automatically. Um, if you dial in something, it's 100. And, I mean, 400 megahertz, it'll be in the 70 centimeter band. Where here, in order to dial in a particular frequency, you had to switch the band between two meters and 70 centimeters. So that's a plus for the uh, the new B5. New, it's not really that new, but it's new to me. Um, The other thing that's uh, kind of interesting is that um, the newer radio doesn't have as many memories. Now, we're talking about 100 uh, memories for everything except FM and then 16 for FM. And this one had 128 memories, and you can use them any way you want to. Not a big deal. Not a showstopper. One thing that is kind of another negative for the B5 is Welcome. that, and I don't have it programmed yet, but when you when you program uh, some memories in and you use alphanumerics to indicate what the channel is, you only get five characters for this one versus seven for the 5R. So that's a little bit of, of a negative. And like I say, the the five R display is definitely easier to read than the B five. I'm not to say not to say the B five you know is not readable. It's just easy to read on this one, especially for an old fart like me. Um, supposedly, and I haven't tested it, the some of the B fives. I mean, excuse me, the five Rs had modulation problems when you were talking into the microphone. Your voice or your audio was kind of low, and that was uh, proved to be that the hole for the microphone, built-in microphone, was not large enough, and you had to go in. And in some radios, you had to in to uh, increase the size of the holes. The what I read is the B5 does not have that problem with modulation. Um, trying to think of anything else that jumps out. The um, they both have the capability of putting a clip on them, a, be a belt clip, which it comes with. Um, the charger on the uh, B5 is slightly different than um, the 5R, mainly because the batteries are different, different shape. And I read reports that. Uh, some people are having problems with the battery charger making contact and charging the batteries. So that's that's about all I can say uh, in general about the radios. What I will be doing, because I'm trying to keep this um, this first uh, video under 15 minutes, what I will be doing is I'll be doing some testing of all these functions it has and showing you some of the features. And I eventually will be doing some field testing using the stock antenna and the older antenna from the 5R and my best of all the antennas that I've tested, um, the long one, the best one, the one from MFJ. So I'll be doing some field testing and so I'll probably end up doing three or four videos depending on how much interest I get in this uh, 
on this new radio, the UV B5. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a question or comment. You can send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.